Hello there, Jixer here, and tonight I'm going to play a game called Vampire, which is the game about vampires. But if you notice the spelling, it actually says with a O oh, with a Y instead of A, uh, which is which is more like the Slavic origins of the word. I think they named it intentionally because the vampire curse will be from the Slavic word from the from the deep Europe and in here in, in here if you look at the word vampire uh, vampire it's almost like I would call a vampire in my own language so it's a bit close to me even though it will be more like uh, Romania or or something like that, not not really my country, but as the same in the same language origins. So even if based on proof medi medical knowledge from 1918, Lamp Lampier sometimes takes liberties when establishing possible links between scientific theories and supernatural creatures for theatrical pu for theatrical purposes. In other words, do not try to cure any disease with any of the recipes shown in this video game. <laughs> it's amazing. And no that's what I am doing the making of this game. I already love it. Already love it. Alright. This can be played with a controller. I'm going to play with a I'm going to play with the keyboard and mouse. Because there's no help light and I think I will be more comfortable that way. Oh my god, this is some aggressive villain playing in the background. In Vampire, every action you take can have consequences. This game uses an autosave system. Whenever this symbol is displayed on your screen, autosave progress, blah blah blah. Take responsibility for your actions. So, once you make a decision, you cannot unmake it. It just progressively goes. And you cannot load back. Which is one of the interesting things about this game. And I do not intend to, to, to record the whole plaything. I still owe, owe you the finish of the Hellblade in the first place. Um, I thought that I was really hyped about this game. So I said to myself, I will at least try to record like first 30, maybe 60 minutes. And that's that's gonna be it. I will just end, end it right there and then I finish it in my, in my own time off the screen. But I wanted to make... Uh, the sort of intro. So let's get to it. Pump here. All right. New game, empty slot, empty slot. I don't know what that means, but this game seems to be very complex. From the decisions to combat, I have some uh, uh, some also premium items for pre-ordering this game. But it should be outfit and a weapon. But I will try to play this game with non-violent way as much as possible. Oh, it's what am I doing? Right. So new game. We have options. Let's check options really quick. So all right, audio, everything on maximum. That's all right. Gameplay. To lock on and off. Oh, let's take this off. I don't. I, I. I don't like the patience very much. I've only seen a few games that that use vibrations of the control correctly, and I find it more annoying, especially if you are switching like from the from the controller to the keyboard and mouse, which I do sometimes because I have luxury of playing on the computer and play. I can play the most. Uh, the most comfortable way I feel at the moment, like if you want to just sit back and relax, you take the controller and you can be hell of a distance from your monitor. And if, if you are like like intensively as a, as a game as a gamer experienced with like first person shooters with a mouse, then you then you use a mouse. But at that very point when your controller is lying on the ground and it starts vibrating, it, it startles you because there is this loud sound. I mean if vibrators were, were made from the same from the same battery that controllers are, that woman would be crazy about it. That's just my thought. That's just annoying when it starts vibrating on your 
on your desk is just, everything is shaking and your phone is falling off the desk because of the vibrations that the controller next to it causes. Uh, it is loud as a hell. And it's not very pleasant. The mission remainder on off, alright. Mouse sensitivity seems fine. Set keybind controls. Um and let's check this. Vampiric skills medical checkup. What? Vampiric skills mesmerize. Walk or jog. Oh. Senses. Oh. Alright. Switch mine weapon, switch offhand weapon, use item. Offhand attack, main hand attack, dodge. This is some Dark Souls shit. What do we have next? Widow, general, advanced, advanced, ultra, high, 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 ultra. Oh. Wow. You really favor my computer will handle this. I hope it. Well, advanced, or general, live setting, synchronization is offline, but the game seems to be locked on 60 FPS anyway. Which is alright, I guess. I'm not going to set the brightness. Languages and subtitles. Subtitle size, name of speaker. On or off? Let's, let's, let's go with on, because sometimes subtitles can totally confuse you when you don't know who is talking what. English, Deutsch, Espanol, Espanol, Francia, Italiano, Volsky, Portuguese. This is Russia, this is... I guess... Chinese? This is Japanese, it's Chinese, I think. And English again. Oh wow, wow. What are you doing, buddy? Hello? Oh, that was fucking weird. There was a lag spike out of the sudden. And I have now 20 FPS. I'm going to need to check what is going on. So not to self, do not change the language of this game because FPS will go batshit crazy. Let's go with a new game. Game difficulty. In this game, difficulty is tied to your actions. The more lives you take, the easier the game will be. Um. Yeah, but there is a twist. We all know there is a twist. This is fucking obvious. Like, because for each life I end, I will become. Queens for the Red Sorry. Queen under crown of stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned, called by this song. It is perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. It is perchance her inhabitants' last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness but lurking sun? What is war but enslaved stone? What is glass but tortured sand? What is song but a call to arms? What is hate but jilted love? What is life but death pending? It was some deep philosophical shit, but... Is it the right time to ask these questions death. when my protagonist is being bitten by a vampire? Since the neck? apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare. To keep mankind from ascending to the stars, they were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet kiss. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. About this. Oh, he's alive. He seems to be in the trenches. So I believe he was the he was a doctor in the First World War. 
Um, sound, sound seems to be muffled for some reason. The graphics seems a little bit outdated. It makes my GPU fun go crazy, but oh god, here we go again. Black spikes. Alright. I try to tap to the borderless window mode. It should help even if my GPU clearly doesn't like it. Oh, I'm playing. I'm already playing. That's nice. That was not... I mean, for what it is, how it looks like, it doesn't seem to me it should be eating this much. But we'll see. That, that, that seems to be a lot of particle effects going on. And this is the Unreal Engine, and I know about Unreal Engine one thing, that the shadows are always the problem. That might be post-processing as well. Alright, let's go with medium shadows. And let's turn down the post-processing, because I don't even know what that is. Apart from... The fact that it's always fucked up your FPS for whatever reason. Alright, let's go back. And this should be it. Alright. I'm currently lo lowering at 30, uh, 30 FPS, but you wouldn't know anyway, guys, because I'm recording at 30. The one thing about this cast scene <laughs> they mentioned an apple, which is that apple is what cast. Adam and Eve out of the paradise. And they also mentioned that uh, the death is actually a release of this mortal life. It's like the way out. And while it comes natural that people fear death, if you turn it around and you would be this immortal vampire, then being undead is actually worse because and eons and eons pass by you and you are still here and you have no way to end it. Oh, there is a... Do I see a person down there? Do, do I see their blood? Am I thirsty for blood? I don't want to kill her. There's blood everywhere. Am I in London? My factory... I am in London. Why am I in a dumpster? Why are there so many corpses? I thought he was in, in the First World War, but it doesn't look like that. Looks like I am in London. Also played the Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which is set in London, in a very similar era, I believe. The Industrial London, 19th century. <laughs> Funny. It might be very similar, depending which one of those games like captured London more. Oh, as I was saying previously, so if you are this vampire and you live, and then like years will become seconds to you, because the longer we live, uh, the the shorter the moment we live in is compared to the rest of our lives. And while if you remember being a kid, and like have to wait that one final day before Christmas and the presents, it was like eternity. But when you're an adult days just fly by and like the, the week is suddenly over and there is another weekend and another weekend and another weekend because you you're looking forward to weekends and then then you realize that a couple of months passes and it's just like snap of the finger and that's the sad fact that everything starts just flying and you now imagine you are immortal and the same thing that Comes with weeks, month will become to years and decades, and like centuries, and it just fly by you, and you have no joy of it, and you just wish for the death, but it's not coming because you are immortal, you are cursed, and like there's a couple of uh, legends about vampires as we know today. I I don't mean really Dracula, which is one of them, but actually in the more in-depth universe of the uh, of the vampires of, of several vampire lore uh, 
for example, the Vampire Masquerade, the universe, which most of the vampire mythology of today is based on. Uh, it's believed that the first vampire was Cain. You know, the one who murdered Abel. And those two, uh, those two, Cain and Abel, they were the they were the sons of the first human that were cast out of paradise. That means Adam and Eve. And Cain killed Abel. Cain killed Abel. And God cursed him by vampirism, by the thirst of blood. And as of this thirst of blood and eternal life, without any chance of redemption, and just hunger for more and more flesh, he was simply being outcasted for all from all of the other other people, all of the other human, because he was not mortal anymore, and it was a punishment. And if we go more to the depth, there was the blood sorceress among the wild among the wild people, or was called Lilith. And it is said that she was the one who, who taught Kain how to control and to use his new abilities, these abilities of his, of his curse, of his sin. And this is how actually vampires came to be. And I could go more and more, but the, uh, the premise is here, and I, I thought it is worth mentioning this. Uh, because of what the cutscenes were aiming for. That seems like this should be it. Alright. Fun is batshit crazy again, I'm back to 60 FPS. So thirsty. Alright, you're thirsty, but... Hello. Alright, let's talk to her. I assume that if I press F, I will talk to her, I will not feed on her. Um... Wait, is this... I don't hear what she's saying, because all I hear is her beating heart. No, don't, don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't. Are you kidding me? Really? There are several theories about about the vampires. Uh, uh, like Who is it, what is oh, it's brother. Mary. Oh, no. Mary. Oh, hold on. Please, hold on. You did just build her. I know you didn't know what you were doing. Mary. Mainstream shit, uh, basically creating vampires for you thing to do. But the law, the law, are like it's horror. It's a nightmare. No, please, a moment. Let me explain. All right, I'm chasing you. You have to run, buddy. Alright, let's run. But in like in depth lore. If I remember These correctly, it's after pools. me. Alright. No, it's not. It's not. Don't shoot. This is a nightmare. I need to get out of here. Yeah, I really no, I'm kidding. But Alright. Can I like can I like can I walk? Of course, walking is possible only with a fucking controller. How typical. Because the controller can like sense how how this much you can push the stick. Well, you cannot do that with the so I can only sprint. Alright. No, please, no, stop shooting me. I mean you no harm. Uh, there's 
so I'm one away. Play. Oh, fuck you. Some shooting. What's going on? So what I was saying, in, in the more sophisticated... Oh, there, there is a vampire on the loose and he turned to you what as have well. I done? well. In more sophisticated uh, vampire... Uh, in more sophisticated vampire... Uh, lore? Like What's all this about? Great. It's not as easy. Shit, it oh, oh, all right. Let's take the knife. So, the sword or a machete? So, it's a hunting knife, I guess. All right. Now, I, need to get that I can defend myself. Shit, it go? Yeah. You just killed your sister. Kill the thing. Stop calling me a thank you. Now that. Uh, Who are you? Don't let it out for your hey! Stay back! Okay. You know what? I'm going to play with the controller. It seems like. Kill the thing. Ow. Alright. Sorry. But you left me no choice. Yeah. I'm going back to the keyboard. I'm just pissed that I cannot walk normally. I wanna walk. Why are you doing this to me game? Why I cannot walk? Seriously cannot walk. So I'm in this menu figuring out how to walk. Move. Walk. Q. Alright. So Q is walking. Alright. Okay. I can do this. Okay. Yeah, cool. Fine. Now I'm happy. You now I'm happy person. I can play with the keyboard. And I can walk. It's amazing. So the story is pretty intense so far. But I think I'm going to love this game. But I was saying, the, if you just forget Twilight and Vampire Diaries and all this mainstream shit, in uh, in Vampire Masquerade means War of Darkness universe. Um, it's not as easy to create a vampire. Basically, you have to, if you are a vampire and you want to, you want your children to have your gift or whatever or curse, whatever you call it. You need to completely try that person off their blood, it means killing them vampire. Because of course, uh, vampires couldn't just kill to feed themselves, and, uh, that, would, uh, that would mean, especially in the modern days, I mean, they will be quite quickly revealed, revealed, and because in the world of supernatural there are other dangerous things. Like vampire cells, for example, werewolves who are sort of. Who are you? Stupid beast! Just call me beast. Alright, so you are teaching me how to dodge now. Okay, can do this. Alright. What else? No! He dodged. I completely dodged. Sorry! So, no more heavy attacks, right? It's very controlled. I hope it will it won't be this action combat battle this. So we had to they had to feed, but of course they had illusions. Like you could feed on somebody and some would even cooperate with vampires, even they are blood willingly, others were enchanted to forget what happened. And then so well, vampire clans and etc etc. But if you wanted to create a vampire, you had to completely bleed them dry and then and give them your own blood. In that way he became he became your direct uh, your direct like blood relative. And it, it was rough because they of course then wake up dry coffin somewhere completely thirsty with only a tiny bit of blood of, of their father on the yeah they had to feed eventually and they had to grow up in power it's kind of interesting stuff but let's just say that this game it seems that the simple fight will turn into the vampire if the vampire doesn't kill you while feeding. Uh, that, that's as far as we know. 
No! Please! Stop! Oh, fuck you. Fuck off. Who are you? Bloody leech! What do you want? So far, I've killed a lot of people. I'm kinda disappointed, I thought you would be able to play with people like passive destroyed if you were. Whatever. I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech! Huh. Please, listen to me. I, I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast! Who are you? Well, what is this all about? Ah, ah, what in God's sake! Do the rest ah, of the job. Ah, ah, just, just leave me. Ah, 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 ah. Poor guy. He has the no sun. idea what happens. He has no. Feels like it's burning me to the bone. Such so an like fire will deal aggravated damage that reduces your maximum health. Gosh. All right. Let me guess, I will have to feed on somebody to regain those. Yeah, I feel sad for him, like, he just woke up alone, he killed his own sister, immediately got attacked by people who he considers lunatics, because he doesn't know that he is a vampire, he is a scientist, he is a doctor, he doesn't believe in this shit, even though this Let shit me go! Him. I need to find somewhere to hide. Um, all right. How about here? Can I head here? Hmm. I cannot jump, it seems. I'm sorry. We need to find shelter. So what we know now is that uh, the woman we fed on was Mary, and it was his sister. Apparently. Keep out. Alright. Let's go keep Is in. anybody there? What is this place? Dude, watch the sun. The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. He is, he is quite a charismatic uh, hero. Like he's not just that, that that sort of generic whatever. Five shillings. Oh, alright. I have no idea how much that is. So, so far, there's a lot of bodies. There are a lot of bodies. Yeah. Brother, what have you done? Mary! Yeah, Mary! Mary, I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us, I will find them. Kinda looks to me like you did it to her, but. Alright, now there is a wedding ring. Nice to do. All right. Oh, so my theory is because of how, ma how many bodies were there, and we are still in England. So I, I thought I don't know why I thought it's uh, he's going to be like the medic in in, uh, in the First World War, and when he goes back to home, he will carry the disease with him. But that's my premise. But it seems uh, it's something else. So for what I'm seeing, I think there is a vampire on the loose. He's terrorizing and wrecking cows over the London and he is turning his other people to his flesh drink if he doesn't kill them right away. So... Yeah. This looks lovely, it's either blood or mold. Take your pick. <coughs> Bottle of alcohol, alright. Let's get wasted! So there are these hunters. Wow. Wait. Do they have Blake? There was a Blake? 
in the 19th century. Oh, it's like it's, it's like the 20th century. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pete in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I still have rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, nah, give me the hilarious, really. And then they dumped me into the. But that's impossible. But it wasn't me who killed them, was it? Because they, they dumped me into the. So maybe it was a fire? I don't know what's happening. I don't quite know the history of the London. I know there were quite fires. I don't know if there was some sort of like that in, in 20th century. It doesn't seem right. Maybe there was like the hunger or sort of other epidemic. This this dude, he looks like he doesn't look good if you look at him. He looks really like... Well, not good. I don't know what this is with his face. He looks like a zombie, to be honest. I hope he won't come alive, but I have still my trusty machete, so whatever. But the people know. They know more than poor Jonathan right now. They, they know more than me. So there is like vampire hunters and they are dedicated to this and they wanted to kill this one as well. Even though it's not his fault, he's just turned. So there must be something going on. I think my theory about one vampire who somehow got to London is right. Like this is barricaded out? What's there? No. So what do we have here? Nothing. Seems pretty fair enough to me, but I'm still in tutorial. I don't know the, um, the sandboxiness of the game or the open worldness, but so far it's good. Yes, there is no reflection. Is there? There he goes. For the Red Queen that sleeps under crown stone, that she might linger longer, her eyes as white as blue. Who goes there? Who's there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> no! No! I still have so much to accomplish! I still have so much left that needs doing. Alright, but do you see yourself in the mirror? Or no? Because you shouldn't be it's a vampire, but I don't know, like, every vampire universe can have its own rules. Oh, hey, I, know I have five shillings, now I have twice as much shillings as I had before. Oh yeah, there is a reflection of me. Maybe it's like, it will be fading over time, or will not be affected at all. Oh, you done yourself in. Wow. Oh. Injection. Okay. Um. <laughs> and I have a gun now. I have any ammunition. Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! So... He was in the war. Done! War. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. So he has a history. Okay. We have one bullet though. No. It never got easy. So he was this badass medic who was healing his allies and killing enemies. You have to have respect for these guys. So, any last words? Note: I have an injection. So, I wouldn't be surprised if instead of like raw feeding, because this is the man of science and cultivated gentleman, or at least he was, 
would be like extracting it with a with a vial with an injection and just injecting himself with it I wouldn't be surprised that would be original approach though instead of like ripping throats apart it's it's so it, it's so medieval I who says the the vampire can be a gentleman right all right 15th October bad sleep Becky Becky coughed all night and and the fever made her delirious I heard a loud noise in the morning it's a big machine some man brought by the banks to dig a big hole in the ground it was some sort of mechanical shovel maybe I could go there and, uh, and ask for some work mechanist medicine 16th October I talked to the man with a mechanical shovel they told me they are digging mass graves all around London safety measures apparently is there a new epidemic is the flu coming back a oh, flu it was black flu yeah there was an epidemic in London wasn't there I really quite ass it's been a long time since I've since I've learned about the London history, so forgive me. I mean, I don't know even Prague history, and I basically live here. Uh, safety measures apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Baker slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed, and there are no more jobs nearby. Nineteenth October. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. Find, not buy, but find, alright. No trains, it took me a whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup, she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow? But it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. 19 October again. Becky threw up. Wait, how can I? Can I listen with this? No? There's a... Back? I don't want to go back. I want to scroll down. Can I? Can I not? Hello? Alright. That's a bloody diary. It's called bloody diary. It's not just a diary. This diary is so bloody. It's a bloody diary. If you want to to throw in like an Englishman jokes, it would, bloody would mean it's a fucking diary or something like that. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going back to reading now. 19th October. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate. She's so frail now; it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside at night. I think I might know why Becky is feeling better now. You know, you will find out soon when she. Rips your throat open. Wait. It wasn't. She was looking like a zombie because she was a vampire. Hey, what are you doing? Stop. Go oh, back, Jesus. Because it wasn't a male. It was a. It wasn't a coincidence. This is. He committed suicide because he know what become of his wife. Maybe after he killed her. Or after like hunters killed her. Never mind. She says she has voices outside at night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. Um, alright. What's here? Am I going to sleep? This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. Will you be able to so be it. You cannot head to show yourself. It doesn't work. Are you going to shoot yourself with your heart? No! Just stop this! Oh, is it? Whatever. Boom. I like this game.
And the only thing you accomplish is basically you try and plus that you get from your sister and you will be thirsty again and you want to eat. It didn't help you. But at least now you know that the scientific rules do not apply to you anymore because you shot yourself through the heart but you live. Which is medically impossible and you should know, know it as your doctor. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. No, it is. It is as bad as the moon. Contains blood in sunlight. Into a glowing reflection. <laughs> Alright, evolution. Hide out beds. Allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampire skills. Um, okay. Click to continue. Uh, autography. Begin the selected autography. You drain your own blood to heal normal and aggravate damage instantly. Defense. You will block your target's blood in the veins, making them defenseless. Blood barrier. You create an invisible barrier, absorbing direct damage until it fades or is destroyed. Spring. You perform surprise so removal to target and cause damage upon landing. Shadow of Ultimate. What well, is this? League of Legends. Aggressive. Blood spear. I don't want to throw blood spears around. How does this make any sense? I want to eat blood, not throw it away. Throw a spear of blood which can pass through enemies in front of you. Claws. A close range strength that will cut through all living creatures in front of you. Recovery 3. It doesn't mean 3 seconds. I think it is. Begin by selecting available skill. Auto oh, it's all locked! I didn't even... Okay. Okay. Sure. Passive skills. Bite. Fast regeneration. I don't even know. Let's go. What? So it's like every skill has its own skill tree. And it's even... There is even a crossroad. So you will have to choose. Okay. This is... It's going to be tough. So, if I if I understand the concept of this game correctly, uh, correctly is more the more people you kill and more victims you feed on will give you more experience. So more experienced vampire you are, you will have unlocked more skills, but you will use lose part of your humanity. So if you just go to the killing spree, you will end up like like a complete monster. Well, if you will cling to your humanity, you will become basically... You will stay who you are, mentally, but you will be weak and the fights will be harder. That's interesting. Okay. Let's, let's land this. Oh, oh, alright. So you pump the blood into it, literally. And this is locked now, so... 200 healing. And that's all it has. Okay, I got this. Oh wow, aggressive. Evolution, aggressive skill. Choose to unlock now. Okay, what's this? Shadow mist. Place a cloud of shadows at the target's feet or yours. The cloud will explode after a short time, causing heavy damage. So I'll be like, hey, you know what, I will go with the blood spear, because it's <laughs> so ridiculously stupid that I just have to have it. I can throw spears of blood. Alright. Okay. Okay, I have a blood spear now. Let's confirm. There we go. Guy, uh, that voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. So, all right, so this should bring out the wow. Okay, eternal thirst. Ident identify and confront the vampire who created me. You. 
The whole game screams like vampire at you. Well, the main protagonist is trying to convince you that he has no idea what is happening to him. Um. Okay. Like, dude, it's obvious you are a fucking vampire. Just deal with it. Seems like there is a knight outside. So at least I won't be. So these were not muggers. This was just some house of those two poor people. And there is this. Can I hide? Because it seems like somebody is trying to bash in my house. Wait. One hand, firearms, off hand. Can I? Details. Alright, how do I shoot with this? Level 2. What? How? Why? Q. E. Oh, that's something else. One hand. Okay. How am I? Never mind. I don't know. Wait. She's gone. She was right here. She's gone. She's alive. Why is she? These people want me dead. I need to leave now. There was a body. There was a body. You cannot tell me there wasn't. Where did the body run? Oh, there is a trail of blood. Okay. Prepare for the jump scare. Here's the leech. Here! Um, can I make the jump? I think I can. It's not the jump. What the hell? You you had no idea what you become. Spinning. But you you transformed yourself into the black cloud and just warped over. Oh. Wow. That's rich. Alright. Oi! Come out, you coward! I cannot enter. Hey. Okay, let's take it slowly. Because I think it's all scripted. They're not really chasing me. Wait, who are you? Oh. Used stake. Offend weapons. Oh, that's what you use by pressing uh, right click. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. Okay. So this one does not consume stamina. And this does. Alright. Can I like swap it? G T e, I don't know. I have steak now. Why do I have steak though? I'm still in I mean, Suffolk. If it can kill them, by it can kill him. I must reach the chain. west end. Go back home. Okay, but No, no 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 no. Come on, dude. What am I supposed to use? Stone. Stunned enemy can be bitten. Die, vermin! Whatever, let's go. Come here. How I bite you? Bite stunned enemy. Biting will mainly probably blood to use skills and refills your health gauge. Okay. Alright. So much for my injection theory. Okay, oh, cool, cool. Alright, how am I supposed to use my... It's a strength. A strength I never knew I had. Um, alright. That's... That's funny. Wait a second. This one stinks already. Alright. Can I... Not fight them. Can I like? All right, let's let's do this. Hello. I cannot. What? Fuck you guys. I don't like you. All right. Now I can fight him. Being is a fire. 
feel like a child learning the limits of my body. No loot? No, no loot. Just, just more guys. All right. <laughs> Love how he analyzes himself while <laughs> killing those dudes. Okay, now I can loot. There is loot. Okay. No! Just go down. And loot this. Take this. Good. Is there more loot to be had? I need all those shillings. Okay. That was unexpected. So, what am I going to do now? Up in here. It doesn't seem like I can do anything. all over here. South? South Park Bridge. I didn't quite catch what was that about the status. But alright. I'm enjoying myself, to be honest. This is a good game. Oh, look. Look, an article. Let's look. Your king and country needs you. Join the British ranks and help the brave lads at the front. Yeah, I think you've been there. I think you've joined the... What's, what about this? Your king and country need you. Join the... and help... Um, alright. My poor sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary. Someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Dude, that's on you. That's on you. You bid her. You cannot blame the one who created you. You chose to bid her because you are thirsty. It's locked you all right. Go to here. Um, okay. Rats. Can I feed rats? I can feed I rats. Can't that's I can't believe I'm doing amazing. this. I can't believe you're doing this either. Oh, poor guy, he had shillings. He's dead. It's locked. Why is there so many dead people around here? Hello? This is this is like 1918. It's not barbaric age. How <laughs> are there so many dead people anywhere? Not even in Assassin's Creed there are so many dead people and there is shitload of gangs going on. Okay, I can warp through this, I believe. Right. What happens if I fall to the water? I cannot. There is invisible wall. The dizziness from the jump. Me. I can now control it. Okay. At least I have my pocket dramatic orchestra following me wherever I go. There is some something is bound to be happening here. This is like corridor of encounters, or not? Or not at all? It's like plot twist, you have been followed all around, and your creator was always watching you where you were not watching him. He was everywhere. Something like that. I'm ten meters away. Good. Here, can I like? I don't see anything. Like that. Let's get out of what here. What will London have to say to me? Probably die, leech, or something among those lines. If you don't mind me being rude for saying that, I have so many questions unanswered. Meter. At least they are trying to create a depth to the character. You can you can see how he is confused. He's not just that random badass. Well, 
same house, though. All right. Another corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? The man has been drained of all blood. But I can still smell the scent of it. Hmm. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Alright. Senses. Oh, vampiric senses. Cool. Fresh right. that, blood. That's blood. The smell is so strong. Alright, but... Let's just go. Let's just take the stairs instead of jumping on the cliff. Let's not become primitives. Like, even today. Oh, aluminium shard. Aluminium shard. Grease. What the hell are I collecting these things for? I'm a civilized man, alright? I might be bloodthirsty monster, but I'm a civilized man, and there's no reason to not to use stairs when I can use stairs. Something dire must have come about. Um, right. Oh my god. I kinda wanna go to the alley. But I also wanna explore. Let's explore. Hello, I can go inside. What? Well, it's, it's locked alright. It's locked. I cannot enter. I mean, you could climb over the fence. You are a vampire after all. I think that something is in this alley. But before I go there... There is no one in sight. Follow the killer's trail. Nope. I just wanna explore. I, I have an unhealthy habit. There is like... If I'm playing like straightforward game, like let's say Wolfenstein last month, I, I'm exploring fucking everything. And if I'm playing sandbox game, I'm just I just never ex explore anything at all. I just run straight for the objectives. City, you life saved by efficient medical aid is blow struck at the of the flu epidemic. Volunteers make the difference. Okay, so there is a flu. In the chaos. There are like shillings on the barrels on the street. I would like this to see in real life. Just grab shillings for me. Wait, I'm, I'm in the alley I didn't want to go in. Why not? No, it's another. So is this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's, let's go down the alley. Hideout. New hideout is available in the district. Check on your map to locate it. I have a map. Oh! I have a map! I forgot there is a map. It really is. Like London. There's a river Thames. But it's like a fracture of it. I suppose. Oh my god, this is huge. Okay, so this is the playable area. I guess I won't be going anywhere else. Or maybe just for now, I don't know. But this is amazing, look at this, you can just wander to London at night. Oh. That's strange. The trail is very erratic, as if the killer was drunk or hesitant. Alright, there are the steps of the... Unknown blood quality. I can't determine the blood quality, what the hell? Um, okay. At last, a little life. Uh, maybe you should change your your, your shirt is all bloody. Hello. Oh god, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. A long night? What do you mean? 
Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? I kinda do. I committed quite a few myself just five minutes ago. <clears throat> any leads on a suspect? Do the police I mean, have any leads I on a suspect? Ah, uh, gone before the outbreak, was... coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time and no one cares. Oh, that sucks. Okay, about these murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Alright. What is this place? Where am I? Where is this place? You're at my bar, sir, the turquoise turtle. The last ray of light in this dangerous part of town. So you're open all night? Yep. Figured people might need a place to rest in these dark times. That's a good old, good old man. I'm scared. Aren't you scared? Scared of what? All the bad shit happens out on the foggy streets. <laughs> and I never go outside. <laughs> smart, smart. Okay. So I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. I need to meet that man. How long has he been here? How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. So will this be? Will this be my sire? I wonder. I need to meet this man. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, uh... Yes? No funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Nothing bad can happen if two empires just meet each other casually. Hello! Good evening, sir. I wondered if I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Thanks, that's like... What's going on around here? What's going on around here? I don't it's usually like everybody like is hiding. people, but you must be new here. I feel like Have I you really not heard about the murders? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. Who is this sewer dog? Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blame the sewer dog, eh? It's just a fairy tale. You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. True. We can all be monsters. True, this is very true. Even if there are vampires out there in the night, there is so little in mon in numbers that just people are making monsters up to cover their own shit. Did anyone enter the bar? Has anybody entered the bar recently? Can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bottle. Drank it the this is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't sorry, they? Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you for fuck's sake. Alright, goodbye. You I'll leave you to helpful. your bottle then. Not. I still prefer the times where people like. When addressing someone, they would end the sentence with the sir instead of dude, and that sort of thing. Hello. Hello, sir. Are you all right? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. I don't know. Donate me some blood, maybe. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe uh, you prefer to speak with Tom, <laughs> then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. Um, all right. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just of other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, 
course. I mean, I best check on them. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, you know, uh, I'm going to bother you anyway. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. I'm just First epidemic. The guy with a shirt filled with blood. All these terrible murders. What's wrong with you? What's your manners about the epidemics? What have you heard about the epidemic? There's a Spanish flu. Yeah. Killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. It's gotten really hard to travel across town. Yeah, that's bad. The murders. What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The what's ancients kind of, say kind of it's the sewer dog sewer coming dog. out to feed. That's like sewer But bat. now he's killing in Maybe. the streets. Sewer dog? Have you ever seen a dog like draining blood of 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 the hand he just got? Like if the dog catches the rabbit, he eats the rabbit, he doesn't drain the blood. Why would they call it sewer dog if it drains blood? It seems a little bit what is this place? What is this place? This is Tom's bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. Alright, where is everybody? You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Dead? Most people are sleeping right now. And those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. Always open. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. Right, I'll leave then. Thank you. Um, let's go out though. Oh, this is just a. Uh, oh, this is the way out. This is a how? How do you? Balcony. Whatever. I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. Boot boys. All right. I'm gonna take care of boot boys. I have a feeling. All right. No place. Here we are. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Hmm. You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire! Who are you? I mean you no harm. Sayeth the vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. Anyone. What am I the cross is fucking annoying. <sighs> oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. Where is the woman? Where are you hiding the woman? I thought this would be the vampire, but I don't know. I think after this conversation I will end the video. I've been recording quite a long time for now. Might as well be almost an hour. Maybe even over the hour. And who might you be? I don't know, I won't tell you first. I don't know, I know him, I won't tell. I... Okay, you first. Tell me, who are you? First, tell me what you want, then I may tell you. This is a, That's <laughs> it's a very productive concern. conversation. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. You seem like an expert. I'm a victim too. This is not real. <laughs> <laughs> These answers are just dumb. All of them are dumb. You would expect that he would be smarter. He's a doctor after all. You seem like You seem the expert. How would that be? I have my secrets, as you have yours. 
Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. And what the woman? Help me then, what is part of good? Who are you talking to? I heard oh. another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Dude, I have one Something ears. tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. <laughs> you just entered his room in the middle of the night, only to tell him the bullshit like, I won't tell you anything, and I don't trust you. Why the hell are you in here? Alright, what do you know? What have you uncovered concerning the murders? It started a few nights ago. Rumors of violent murders. The docks have always been, shall we say, somewhat unsavory. But this is different. How different? A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. And what exactly is this brotherhood? Sir, if the name is not familiar to you, then we shall discuss it another time. All right, so help me then. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. All right, but the, the blood? I'm not sure. No. Yes. Um, okay. I'm not sure. Maybe. Probably. No. The blood I found said that as if it was almost hesitant. The one who bit me, he was everything but not hesitant. He was, he was mysterious. He seemed self-assured. He was whispering things that didn't quite make sense to me, but to him it might, as if he knows something more, something that was so. No, yes, I'm not sure. Perhaps. This is all new to me. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I don't know. I'll end him. I'll demand answers. The answers? Then I will kill him. I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. There was, there was the woman I know. I rest to resolve. Oh, okay. Thanks for the shillings, dude. I mean, thanks for the shillings, God, sir. That I stole from your wardrobe. <laughs> so, interrogate the locals. Um, all right, can I? What if I quit? Maybe I just rest in here. Can I rest? No. I cannot rest right now. Why would I be able to rest in this room? Because my guy is not. If Swansea is not my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. <laughs> Someone must know something. I question them all. Nobody knows anything. Maybe the bartender. I hope I live longer. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Stranger, I think you're hiding something. Hint required, goodbye. I think you're hiding something. Now, you know what? I'm not going to be aggressive with them. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. I'm going Watts. to use my vampire sen- well... No. I'm going to use my vampire senses. I'm going to track this... Steps. That ends conveniently in here. Okay. Can I go? Can I go in here? Yeah, I think that's all. Don't care if I go behind the bar to his meter. It's a good thing you cannot see me now, Mum. What 
are these? He is hiding something, isn't he? Alright, I think this guy is drunk to the boot. He has no clue about anything. Hello, sir. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. What? Do you see yourself in the mirror? What do you call ugly? Whatever. I'll leave you of to your bottle. You call me ugly, I don't want to talk with you anymore. How about you? Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I want the truth. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. <sighs> it's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. Why are you so afraid? Why are you so afraid? I mean, his skin. His hands. I scrubbed every glass and every chair that he touched. God, I hope it's not contagious. Huh. What happened tonight? I he was dead drunk, as usual. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. I think he will be the testament what happened to me if I killed too much people. Tell me about this William Bishop. Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's it's not, nothing if not loyal. It's not the same with After Will like lost his job, he offered place. him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, Will... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. That's the bloodthirst. Nothing unusual. Thank you for your candor. I'll be sure to talk to Tom. I act right, like a complete jackass. Sorry about that. Hint. I just think a hint. It will be a secret about this and someone wrote it to them. Alright, top of citizens menu. What the hell is this? For fuck's sake, it will take ages to, like, hint locks. Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends. Okay. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality where indicates the XP you will learn if you feed on the citizen. Unlock hints, increased amount of XP. So I'm just like unlocking hints to have more XP if I drain Tom. I don't want to bite the Tom in the first place. He seems like a nice person. Why would I do that? If there are like 10,000 hunters trying to kill me that I can feed on. Alright. Okay, so I have this hint. And he has better blood quality for some reason. Alright. Days and Dealy, 350 blood quality, of course, is a fucking day. I will probably, if I, if I drink him, I will probably get <laughs> alcohol poisoning together with the blood. Never mind, let's go confront Tom again. Tom! Listen, asshole. I know your secret. Where is William? You again. What can I do for you? Tell me where is William. Citizen hands. This vampire can force citizens to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Blue problem. Tell me about Tom. Talk to me about the visit from your old friend, oh, William. Oh. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. I need to find him. Why lie to me? Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer, and that's the truth. Are you playing with what? No, I don't So who is he? I know, I know who he is. He's a, he's a sailor. I need to find him. Who is he? William. Just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. Is he dangerous? Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. How was he tonight? Was he different? Sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside, and then he left when I refused. 
good they didn't come to the then he would bite you. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? Alright. Well, let's just... let's just go... Let's just I go. will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to so me? To the city. Progress the story a little and then I will have to be done. Inspect the boats, alright. Let's inspect the boats. Oh, this one, huh? So he's over there. Maybe. Wait. Is there something I can have? What? There's a corpse with a note and I cannot have it. Oh, the body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. I think the villain is on the rampage. It's my outfit, examine wounds, pick up no What's this? Some sort of note. Details. Prevent orders. 13th October from G. McCullum, two dock patrol. Subject, multiple deaths in the dock region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Look at the beast, purge it and quickly. Warning, according to recent reservoirs, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we like men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses destroy the leech brothers. Alright. He is killing every night, so, but don't send rookies. So you're saying that they should send rookies to investigate uh, like sophisticated, strong, strong, like mentally stable vampires who are probably like 1000 times more dangerous if if actually revealed because they would kill everyone and everyone involved and destroy all evidence. Okay. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. Examine outfit. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. Uh huh. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Okay. Where are the wounds? Okay. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. <laughs> Inside vampire joke, I love it. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Okay, well, let's reach it. Um, yeah, like this. Oh, right, there is something. Prevent gunner. Resistances, blah blah blah. So there are like enemies in the open world if you investigate them, that sucks. He wanted to speak with the Tom outside, he was determined to kill even his friend. What a sucker, just control yourself, idiot. Okay, G hide. Oh no, right T, okay. Oh, so, he's examining what's on the other. F, out of combat, silently behind an enemy. Alright, let's just... Okay. Let's try it, stun him. And feed on him. Well, that was something. Enemy guard. Let's read the spot on the around. I don't want to fight fucking enemies. I wanna... Resistances. Physical melee, ranged, blood, and shadow. Orange indicates medium resistance, red indicates high resistance, so just don't shoot him. Brawler, okay. But... Alright, stop this. So I can explore... Even upstairs. That's nice, that's nice. Oh. Let's turn around if I were you. Did you hear me? 
Yeah, 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 I'm coming. I don't want any trouble. I'm a civilized man. I only resolve the violence if I absolutely need to, if there is no other solution. And there is oh, fuck me. Die. There's more fun. Ow. Dude, stop shooting me. So much for civilized world. But there is still something romantic about vampires, just they are monsters, they want to suck your blood, but you just have to sympathize with them at least somehow. They are There's something elegant about them. Like noble even. Last warning, sir! Um, I have to go there. I feel bad, like, attacking them if they are just telling me that I should go away. I like this scream when they burn them alive. What? Due to your sake. They are burning enemies. I mean, burning vampires. Sorry, sir. No admittance. Guys, I need Speak to pass. English, oh, for fuck's sake. Just... Uh -huh. Fuck off. Ranged weapons. Equip and press blah 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 to use range weapon. Inflict both standard damage and stun damage. We have heard that your ammo is limited. Alright, G is um Alright, how to use them? How to equip those? E details. It doesn't help me at all. Reliable service pistol used by British troops. Magazine six. Level one, reload time. How to G? Right, maybe no. Can be in inventory. Used machete. Right. <laughs> What's this? Chapter one, quarantine. Oh, maybe this is just the quarantine map and then the real map will be so much bigger. I hope so. Or maybe not. I don't know. But I still don't know how to use those weapons. Alright. So. He went through here and they're just burning evidence. Okay. So much blood. It must be like walking blood back by now. Just drinking everything. That's what fresh that's what blood. Happened, but Wow. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. It's not even... He even ate the flesh? What the hell? What's this? Flat rod. Okay. And these are bones. These are human bones. What the hell? Unknown. Used sight. Um. Hello. What the? What, what was that? Two hands. Now that is William saying something. It's Sean. I can't feel it. How do I? All right, I need I need to look through the controls. It's taking far longer than I wanted to. Set key buttons. All right, 
Volk. Alright, action, fight, interaction, melee attack. Shoot. Um, alright. How oh, interaction? Uh, for ultimate, constant member. Switch melee weapon. Range weapon. Oh, I see now. So. Please let go of me. Um. I cannot quite. Set key binds. It's switch weapons. Oh. I cannot use the two hundred weapon or what? Maybe. I can't stand it anymore. This should be switching my weapons. I don't know, it doesn't work for some reason. Maybe I need to land park, whatever. This place reeks of bloodshed. This is damn, there are bones everywhere, candles, what the hell is this? Jesus. Oh my god. This is disgusting. Just impaled somebody. Oh. Oh dear god, not again. William, please stop! You just ate so many people. I must put it down. Dude. Can I feed on him? Hey, get off me! What the hell? Really? Stop, stop, this is not funny anymore. Vampires fighting each other. Use blood gun, that's what I got. I still don't know how to switch weapons though. Are you alright? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. <laughs> You're suffering from shock. I must return um, to my flock. You? They'll stray Look. without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by Scal? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. <laughs> cool. So about Sean? Sean? Oh? I think he died. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. How do you get face from good fellows? I've out. come to you offer help. Bar, sitting behind the desk. Just give me a moment to secure my boat, and we can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please, I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. All right, let's investigate this before I end the video. But I'm quite surprised this game is good. This game is really good. All right. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some so. subspecies of vampire? 
I must find a place to analyze the blood. Who created you and how? That that's 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 the difference. And also who you are. Like some people, you know, he's alcoholic. But look what he did, just impaling people left and right and beating the guts and bones and there are like bone charms everywhere and look at the candles. This is disgusting. What was he even doing? It's like Oh some sort of vampire then. Alright, let's take the shillings. I wonder will that be like uh because I'm still not very far in the game, so I wonder if there will be like timer we could get to the hideout because the night is coming to an end. But what 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 were these hunters? They're idiots. What were they even doing? They were like ten meters away from here, and they, they didn't find this den. I cannot go ups, up, upstairs. I could just there's not much to learn around here. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, we can go. It's the creature in the house that I found with the memory of the watches. Pocket watch, I mean, it was the same. So, I think this is the end of the tutorial. There will be like large credits and... Where are we fire. headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. <laughs> but I will tell you, she values That's... her privacy. <laughs> were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. Oh, I can't. To be honest, I've always tried I to avoid this part of town. I think Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion nice. between the rest of London and the epidemic. You gotta say that it's the nice flu touch. has decimated the East nice End and the war still this. rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. Thanks. This is where you work, Doctor Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of of St Paul's Stone. Yes, but first and foremost, I'm a man of science. So am I, a physician, like yourself, Doctor oh. Reed. How do you know who I am? <laughs> no need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct, sir. I knew it. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. Someone have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> that word again from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. And as a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? Of course I will accept, because I have nowhere else to go. It seems I have little choice. 
But yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Okay, until I eat you. Guess I'm one bite now, and we're food. I like this game. I think I'm going to end the video after this cutscene, I guess. This game just goes on and on and on, and it's interesting. I'm hesitant to stop it. It should, though. I've been recording for a half an hour and a half. It's almost two hours now. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining nice. us here at Pembroke. Nice. I would We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent. Sneed go like so this. experienced in blood Men cannot be really That sort is of good news anymore. indeed, Doctor. <laughs> be so oh, awesome. Yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we have is coat. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the coat. staff and that those, our ship does not sink. Straps. If you have any questions, just it's ask amazing. me. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. I'm coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. So, here we are in our new coat. That looks quite fancy. I love, I love what he's wearing. So, anyway, thanks everybody for watching. This has been Vampire, the game. It's an amazing game. Love it. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you in one of my next videos. Bye!